Who should lead the Ferrari Formula 1 team after Benotto? The question for Ferrari is less who should lead it and more who can it recruit. Ferrari's revolving door leadership policy, which has, with the exception of the Jean Todt era, prevailed for decades, hardly makes it to the most appealing appointment in Formula 1. So the real challenge for Ferrari is whether it can find someone suitable from among those who would be willing to go there. Yes, Ferrari is Ferrari, and many in Formula 1 dream of working at Maranello. But when it comes to the reality of the possibility, it will give any potential candidates, especially those already in other suitable roles, a pause. That in itself is the problem. What Ferrari must do is not only pick the right candidate, but also give them the stability and control they need to make a difference. In turn, that individual must not be so concerned about politics that their decision-making processes are in any way compromised. What Ferrari cannot afford is an appointment that will only be, in team leadership terms, shorter. And that might also mean it needs to be patient while it waits for the ideal candidate to become available. Assuming, of course, that individual is willing to throw their lot in with a team that too often can be a questionable career move. Please like, share and subscribe.